Now here we have a trading chart and as you can see Forex trading is really trading price over time and we use pips to calculate our profits and what a pip is is really just a very small measure of change in a currency pair in the Forex market. So here we have a pip okay this 7 represents a pip. If the market moves from 6 to 7 to 68, then we have a 1 pip move. If the market moves from 6 to 7 to say 70, then we have a 3 pip move. So that's essentially what a pip is. And we use pips to calculate our profits in the Forex market. Now, Forex trade sizes. We have a micro lot, which is a 1,000 unit trade which represents 0 0.1 dollar per pip we also have a mini lot which is a 10,000 unit trade and this represents one dollar per pip we also have a standard lot which is a hundred thousand unit trade and represents ten dollar per pip now trading forex you should never risk more than around three percent of your account okay some traders may risk 4% but you should never risk more than around 3 to 4% of your account on any given trade. So if you're trading say $500, you should not be trading a standard lot. If you're trading $500, you should not be trading a standard lot because then you're risking too much. Now, the reason why forex trading is so lucrative is because of leverage. So for example, if you invested $1,000 in the stock market, you bought 10 shares and the market moves one point, your profit would be a 1% profit. But if you had invested that $1,000 in the Forex market and the market moved one point, which is essentially 100 pips, then your profit would have been $1,000. That is a 100% return. This is why Forex trading is so lucrative because you can literally risk a small amount and gain a large amount of money. Now when you enter a trade by buying, you have to exit by selling and when you enter a trade by selling, you have to exit by buying. Now this is done automatically so whenever you take a trade, whenever you place a trade say for example, you buy the EURUSD, when you choose to close that trade or whenever you choose to take your profit, the market would automatically do the opposite and sell to get you out of that trade. Now when the market is moving upwards, we say it is rallying and your trade position is long or bullish. When the market is falling, your trade position is short or bearish. Now 95% of traders are losers and the reason for this is lack of education. A lot of traders think they can just get up and trade the market successfully. No, you can't do that. In order to trade successfully, you have to get educated. You have to get yourself the right education, find a mentor, get a mentor to show you the ins and outs of the market, to give you the experience that he has. You have to get the right education before you start to trade. Okay, so education is key.